start our new day with reading. Shall I pick a new book for you to read with me? Come on, let's search. This book is Kitty and the Mama Lisa, written by James Mayhew. Come on, let's read. Katie and the Mona Lisa, written by James Mayhew. Katie and her grandma often went to the gallery on their days out together. Grandma liked to tell Katie all about the famous paintings. Which picture do you like best? asked Grandma. Mona Lisa, said Katie. She smiled at me. She smiles at everyone, said Grandma. That's why she's famous. What makes her smile? asked Katie. I don't know, said Grandma, resting on a chair. Perhaps you should take a closer look at her. Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci, said Katie, reading the notice by the painting. I wish I knew what is making you smile. Then come inside, Bambina, said Mona Lisa. Katie was very surprised, but Grandma was dozing and the gallery was empty. So Katie climbed over the frame and inside the picture. Mona Lisa was sitting in a grand room with a balcony. Bambina, she said, how lovely to see you. I have not had a visitor for hundreds of years. That's a long time, said Katie. Don't you get lonely? Yes, very, said Mona Lisa. I'm supposed to smile, but I don't feel very happy at all. Mona Lisa started to look sad. A small tear ran down her cheek and her smile disappeared. I'll cheer you up said Katie, handing her a handkerchief. When Leonardo painted me, he asked clowns and musicians to make me smile, said Mona Lisa, blowing her nose. Can you dance or sing? I got a better idea, said Katie. She took Mona Lisa by the hand and very carefully he stepped out of the picture and into the gallery. You can meet anyone you like here, said Katie. I'm sure there is someone who can make you smile again. They looked at the pictures one by one. At last, they stopped in front of St. George and the Dragon by Rappel. A knight in the shining armor, said Mona Lisa. Can I meet him? If we climb inside, said Katie. So Mona Lisa gathered up her long skits and Katie took her through the frame. St. George was rescuing a beautiful princess from a fire-breathing dragon. But he forgot all about her when he saw Mona Lisa. Ah, Bella, he said climbing off his horse. He kissed Mona Lisa gallantly on the hand. At once, the dragon ran up and started to chase the princess again. Mama Mia, said Mona Lisa. Help, save me, cried the princess. She leaped out of the picture with the dragon flying after her. St. Jobs grabbed his lens and dashed off to the rescue. Now I'm alone again, sighed Mona Lisa. Perhaps we can try another picture, suggested Katie. They climbed up and walked into another room. Mona Lisa pointed to a picture by Sandro Botticelli called Primavera. 
which means spring. Look at the dancers, she said. I love to meet them. So Kitty clambered inside, and Mona Lisa followed her. Kitty and Mona Lisa found them in an enchanted groove where everyone was dancing. The scent of flowers filled the air. Welcome to springtime," said a beautiful woman in flowery dress. "I am Flora. Come with me and taste the oranges." Flora helped Katie gather sweet, juicy oranges from the trees. Bills, Mona Lisa joined in the dance. "I think I could be happy if I stayed here," she said. But Katie slipped and fell onto the three dancers. They all ended up on the ground, covered with squashed oranges. You have ruined springtime dance. Just wait until we get your hands on you," said the dancers. "Perhaps it's best if we don't stay," said Katie. "I think you may be right." Said Mona Lisa. They quickly climbed out of the picture and ran into another room before the three dancers could catch them. Mona Lisa saw a picture called "The Lion of Saint Mark" by Vittor Capasio. She could see the city of Venice behind the lion. I always wanted to. Visit Venice," sighed Mona Lisa. Katy thought it would be a good place to hide from the angry dancers. She took Mona Lisa's hand and went through the frame and into the picture. The lion was very friendly. "Welcome to Venice," he said. "There's water everywhere," said Katy. "Is there a flood?" Vene- Venice was built on the sea. Said the lion, "I shall carry you over the water." They climbed on the lion's back, and he opened his beautiful rainbow wings and flew into the air. Below them, when it sparkled like silver and gold, the lion carried them to the Grand Canal, and they got into a boat called a gondola. The people of Venice waved and sang songs and gave them pasta and ice cream to eat. Katie wanted to have seconds of everything, but just then she saw that the gondola had sprung a leak. "My dress will be ruined!" cried Mona Lisa. "What shall we do? I'll fly you back." To the picture frame," said the lion. "Climb on." They held onto the lion's mane, and he flew off up into the sky. "I'm slipping off!" yelled Katie, hanging on to the one of the lion's wings. "Oh dear!" said the lion. "I think I'm going to crash." They flew straight through the frame. And fell into the gallery. Mamma mia! said Mona Lisa. There, in front of them, sat the dragon. He puffed out clouds of smoke and roared at them. And behind the dragon stood Saint George and Princess and the three dancers. They all looked very cross indeed. Oh dear! What a muddle," said Katy. "What shall we do?" Suddenly, the gallery was filled with sweet music. It was coming from another picture, called "An Angel with a Lute," painted by a student of Leonardo da Vinci. The angel came out of his picture and stroked the dragon. He stopped growling, lay down, and wagged his tail. How clever! Said the princess. You tamed him. 
The princess put her belt around his neck and led him proudly back to the picture. Saint George kissed Mona Lisa's hand once more and followed them. The angel played on, and the three graceful dancers smiled and trod and skipped happily back to the orange groove. The lion flew back to Venice, growling a farewell. Please, can you help Mona Lisa? said Katie to the angel. I wanted to make a smell, but everything went wrong. She doesn't need my help, said the angel. Just look. And Katie saw that Mona Lisa was smiling. Mama Mia, she said. What an adventure we had, Bambina. Wasn't it fun? Yes, it was, said Katie. And they both laughed. Katie thanked the angel and watched him fly back into his picture. Will you be happy in your picture? Katie said to Mona Lisa. I shall think of you and that will make me laugh. She said, climbing through the frame. Thank you for making me smile again, Bambina. Adio. Adio, said Katie. Katie ran back to her grandma. I found all about Mona Lisa's smile, said Katie. But I can't say. You wouldn't believe me. I suspect you're right. Now, what would you like for supper? Pasta and ice cream, said Katie. They are my favorite. And she smiled a secret smile, just like Mona Lisa. I would do that if I were Katie. I would love to make my friends smile. Don't forget to smile everyone. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Goodbye.